lovely to see you all. We're going to be doing a little bit of maths this morning. Okay. So, we are learning how can we count on and back in tens. That's our learning question today. How can we count on and then back in tens? I think we're going to be good at this one. With I it. think so too. Now, before we get into our lesson, I have posted on Dojo two videos. One is counting up to a hundred, and it's a really nice fish one Ooh, under the sea. So it's one about oceans and seas. Exactly. Something. So there's that, and counting Ooh. back from twenty. So before you carry on with this video, I want you to pause it in just a second, and I want you to practice counting to a hundred, and then counting back from twenty. You can use the videos to help you. Okay. This so, one's my favourite. Oh, I like it. You have a bit well. of a dance. Yeah, I like that one too. <laughs> okay, so pause the video now and get that done first. Oh, right then, year one. This next one, we're going to go on to top marks and we're going, going to go on our paint the squares. We're going to have a little practice at counting in tens. Okay. So you've warmed your brains up by doing all those songs. So now it's into our counting in tens. What colour do you think, Miss Clayton? What colour do you fancy? What do you think, guys? I'm feeling a bit oceans and seas. Yes. So shall we go for blue? Yeah, lovely. Right then, so we should all be amazing at this because we do it all the time in school, don't we? Yeah. Are you ready? 10, 10 20, 20, 30, 30 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100. What do you notice know? about all of those numbers? Look at the numbers. Have to know there is a pattern. Can you spot one? Oh, yeah. I could hear somebody say they all end in a zero. Uh -huh. They do. All of our tens numbers end in a zero. What about the first number? What about the first number? What can you spot? It goes up one each time. So it's one, two, three, four, because it's one ten. Two, two tens, tens, three, three tens, tens, four tens. Yeah. Brilliant, well done. Fantastic. Should we do backwards now? Yeah, are you ready okay. for backwards everybody? Should I do this lightly so we know the difference? Yes. Okay, starting at 100 ready? then, are you ready? 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Brilliant, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Fantastic. Miss Clayton, what about if I decided to start at 24, 24, if I'm counting on in tens, what would the next number be if I'm counting on in tens? Do you think, children, do you think we need to do ten? Yeah, Should go on then, do it. Shall we do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What number did we land on? We landed on... 34. 34. There's got to be a quicker way though, surely. What could we do, children? There's got to be a quicker way. What Somebody's doing? telling me, Miss Evie, that we could just, we could have just done one big jump down. Because directly ten. underneath is 10. Okay. Should we so, try that then? Should I put those as yellow then so we can see? Yeah. So okay. 24, then, then 34. So we know that would be 44. Lovely. What's next? 54. 64. 74, 84, 94. Brilliant. So it's always one underneath on our 100 yes. square. So the pattern when we were over here, our ones column had zeros in it, didn't it? And this time, what digit, what number is in our ones column, guys? That's right, mm. it's the number four all the way it round. It stays the same, so the ones number yeah. stays the same. But then what about the tens. tens number? So that's going up by ten each time, exactly the same as mm. over there. Our ones number is going up by one, but actually that's ten, ten. isn't it? So it's going two to three to four, but that's twenty, thirty, forty. Because they represent the tens they numbers, do. don't they? Because do you remember last week, we were breaking our numbers up, weren't we? So 13 would be 10 and 3. Okay. Where do you want to start this? Oh, I would like to start on 87. 87. Do you have a different colour? Oh, so should we, we do pink? Yeah, we won't get confused then. You there ready? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Counting backwards. Come on then, guys. So I'm going to go 87. 1, 2, 3, 4. No, five, six, say no, Miss Savit. No. Say what? Tell her what she needs to do, everybody. Oh, I'm being such a wally. I can just go up 
one square on my 100 square card. So we're going less now. So we've got 87, 77, 67, 57, 58, 59, 60, 17, and 7. Well 7. Done. Fantastic. There's no tens left on that one, just seven ones by themselves. Okay, so we've gone forwards, we've gone backwards. If you're using your hundred square, it's really easy because you either go down one square or up one square. If you're not using your hundred square, you can look, if you want to challenge yourself, you can look really carefully at those tens numbers. Because if I said to you, Miss Clayton, don't look at the hundred square, don't look, don't I'm look. not looking. I want you to start, Miss Clayton, on the number 52. 52. Okay, on the number 52. Counting in tens forward. What's the next oh, one going to do? It's going to be 62. Why, Miss Clayton? Why because is it going to be 62? I need 10 more. And if I had 52 and I added 10 more, my ones aren't changing. No, nope, they stay the so same. So I'm not adding on to my twos. I'm adding on to my tens. So I just changed the five representing 50 to a six representing 60. Yeah, so one more in the numeral, but it's 10 more yeah. in worth, isn't it? 50 to 60. So okay. if I don't need to look at the 100 square, I'm pretty sure these guys Do don't know, I either. think some of them won't even need to use the 100 square whilst they're practising. I don't think so. If you do though, don't worry, because it helps us to start. Yeah, but once you see the pattern it's... and you get into the flow of it, I think you'll all be able to have a go without the 100 square. Fabulous. Okay, then. I'm just going to pop back to my slides. So, your task, you have got a sheet on Dojo. Like Here you go, my wonderful assistant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've got to fill the missing numbers in. The first ones are quite nice and easy. They'll just get you warmed up. You're counting on in tens, but they're really easy. It's multiples of 10 from 10, so 10, 20, 30. Yeah. Then somewhere you've got to count backwards, Ooh. and then these ones start at any number. <gasps> So some like of them we will, yeah, it, exactly like these this. These have got some ones, did you exactly. have a name? This one starts 5, 15, 25, hmm, what's next? 10 more, 35, 35. Some of them go forwards, some of them go backwards. Don't let them trick you out. Okay. You have got, on Dojo, 100 square to help you. Okay, so feel free to colour the numbers in as you're going yeah. along, or if you don't need it, you want to challenge yourself, you don't have to use it, okay? So, I've also put on something else, Miss Effie. Something else, keep you busy at home. <laughs> There's lots of other challenge questions for you to have a go at. These ones really need you to apply your learning, yeah, definitely. okay? I'd be really impressed if I can see some of you having a go at those challenge questions as really well. Good. Okay, have fun. See you later. Bye, everyone.